Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're a Ghanaian, I want you guys to guess how many tribes you think there are. Today's video is going to be about the nine different tribes that exist in our beloved homeland, Ghana. Before Ghana was Ghana, we were the different tribes, we were the Asantes, we were the Ewes, we were the Gars, we were the Fante. Now you find some Akan in Ivory Coast and Ghana and you can find some Ewes in Togo and the same with Gars. The first tribe we're going to talk about is the Asantes which come under the Akan. It's quite obvious that the Asante tribe is the largest tribe that exists in Ghana at the moment. They are numbering at around 7 million and nearly half of the entire population of Ghana. So the Asante tribe is one of the very few tribes that is a matrilineal society which means that the line of descent goes down the mother. So if you're trying to find your, you know, who you descended from, you would look through the mothers of the family. Of course, the Asante tribe is renowned and well known for its wealth and for its kings and queens and its skillful art. It's of course trademarked kente cloth which is an amazing cloth which we use for celebrations and things that you have to know about Asante culture. Kente is a big part of it. Ashantis are known for their extravagant celebrations and funerals. Um, you know, funerals are, uh, I guess, a celebration of the life that the person had. So Ashantis, of course, are mainly located in the Ashanti Kingdom, Central Ghana, and basically Kumasi. The Ashantis don't have the largest landmass in Ghana, but they are the largest tribe living in Ghana. The Ashantis are a subgroup within the Akan, and so within Ghana and the Akan subgroup specifically, there are different languages spoken such as Akuapim, Achim and so many others but um, Tree is just one of those. The language of the Asante Kingdom which is Tree is spoken by at least two thirds of Ghana. Akuapim Tree is known more as the prestige tree as it was the first version of Tree which was used to translate the Bible. Another word for Tree is Akan Kasa which means Akan speak or the language of the Akans. There are 7 to 18 million people who speak Tree within West Africa, not just Ghana. Tree is a language which is mutually intelligible with Fante and Akuya Pim. Not just Asante people or Akan people, but Ghana in general has kind of adopted a naming system, which means that your child is named by the day of the week. To be completely general, all tribes in Ghana use this name. It's pretty much a general thing. It's not just constricted to other Asante people. Monday, Ajwada, Ajwa and Kodro. Tuesday, Abnada, Abna and Kobna. Wednesday, Kriada, Akria and Kweku, etc, etc. The second tribe is the Fante, also known as Fante 4. Fantes are um, also a, an Akan tribe, which is quite similar to the Asante. It sounds pretty similar. The Fantes are usually located um, along the coastal region. They are the second largest Akan group, as they are mainly found in places such as Cape Coast and Takarade. So despite their rapid growth and assimilation, they still have been able to keep up their tradition. The name Fante in Ivory Coast refers to the half that left. Fante culture is pretty similar to Asante culture, just the language is pretty different um, but in terms of the way that their way of life is pretty similar. Language is Fante of course and it is a Kwa branch of the Niger Congo language. Fante is mutually intelligible with tree so I can understand bits of tree if someone's speaking Fante to me. So I'm um, Fante for our uh, you know, I love the language personally, it just sounds more like the tweet that said that Fante just sounds more prestige and more like elegant than Tree does and I guess that's what it is. The third tribe is the Ewe tribe. Ewe people are a, I don't know how to say this, but they are a be, 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 they are be, be, they are a be ethnic group. The largest population of Ewe, Ewe people are found towards the border between Ghana and Togo and so this is why I've said that you are going to find a lot of Ewe's in Togo who speak Ewe um, but their Ewe is slightly influenced by French since the French colonised 
Togo. And on the Ghana side, there are loads of airways. They are located towards the southeastern part of Ghana. The Volta region, essentially, is where airways are found. So the largest population of airways are in Ghana, numbering at 3.8 million. The traditional dance of the Ewe tribe is Agbadza. The Ewe people are said to share a history and traditions with the Akan ethnic group. Ewe's are a patrilineal society which means that the line of descent can be found through the father. The fourth tribe that you can find in Ghana are the Ga Adangbe. Gars. The Ga Adangbe are an ethnic group in Ghana and Togo. It is known that they are they travelled from Chad before reaching the final destination of modern day Ghana and deciding to settle. Ga people are organised into six independent towns in and around Accra. Ga, Meshi, Osu, Teshi, Nungwa and Tema. Because Accra is essentially the capital of Ghana, Accra is the biggest Ga speaking population. They know what they need to do and the language is vibrant and you can hear it when you go to Accra. Um, the Ga is a Kwa language. Dang may I guess is exclusively closer to the original Ga than Ga actually is. I just wanted to include some popular surnames within the Ga tribe just to give you guys an idea. Lamte, Ari, Late, Ajele, Tete, Kwate, Lari, Kwashi. Fifth tribe in Ghana is the Hausa tribe. So there are over 290,000 Hausa people within Ghana. It's heavily um, influenced by their Islamic faith. Hausa people can mainly and primarily be found within the northern region of Ghana. Hausa people are culturally similar to Fula, Fulani, Songhai people. I love it because my mum grew up with a lot of Hausa people where she grew up. She can even speak it. Um, it's amazing to see like how we all get along. So many different tribes within a country get along amazingly. So the language, the Hausa language, which is shared amongst West Africa, Nigerians have a Hausa tribe. Yes, Hausa is here. Hausa people settled elsewhere and they made their own group. So that's where you have Fulani and the Fula people. The sixth tribe that you can find in Ghana is the Dagomba tribe. The Dagomba are a Gur ethnic group of the northern region of Ghana. They inhabit the they mainly inhabit the northern region, numbering around almost one million nine hundred and thirty one thousand. The Dagomba language they're spoken in the Sah Sahelian Savannah region, namely Burkina Faso, Southern Mali, Northeastern Ivory Coast, and the north halves of Ghana and Togo. Ghana shares many tribes with many other countries, and, and other countries can say the same. The Dagomba language and culture is heavily influenced by the Islamic faith, as well, um, and they were brought to Ghana by the Wangara. Wangara for that's what they called the Dagomba people in Tamale in and around Accra which serves as the north region of the capital. Over 2 million people speak Dang Dangbani. The seventh tribe is the Mole Dagbon tribe. Mole Dagbon is an ethnic group in Ghana whose culture is prosperous and vibrant. They make up about 16% of Ghana. The Mole Dagbon tribe counts for the majority of the Muslim population in Ghana. So the Mole Dagboni tribe essentially originated from the Niger Bend, which is modern day Nigeria. They can be found in northern Ghana and they are a patrilineal society. And so there's a trend here. A lot of the Islamic tribes that are in Ghana are in the northern northernmost region. The language spoke is Dagbani and it has a distinctive traditional and cultural practice which sets them apart from other tribes. Their culture is highly dependent on oral tradition. The way of their way of life and the way that they live, they speak it and they they tell you how it's done. It's the eighth tribe of Ghana is the Guan tribe. The Guan are an ethnic group in all parts of Ghana, so they can be found anywhere within Ghana. Guan people make up 3.7% of the population, where one in seven people, maybe even less, um, are of that tribe. The Guan people migrated from the Mossi region of Burkina Faso. Guan tribe are one of the er the most earliest inhabitants of Ghana, which means they are one of the first tribes that, that made up what Ghana is now. They also pass down their tradition orally, which means that their traditions and their way of life is spoken down and passed down to. The ninth and final tribe of Ghana is the Kusasi tribe. The Kusasi people are an ethnic group within Ghana in the northern part in 
the Balko district can also be found in the southernmost part of Burkina Faso. The Kusasa people speak Kusao. The Kusasa people are known to be an ethno-religion. Kusasa people can also be found in Togo. Ethno-religion simply means they have kept their way of life, they have kept their religion within their culture. Their, cult their religion is within their culture. Comment down below what tribe you're a part of. Say hello in your languages, whether that's God, that's Asante, whether that's whatever language that is comment down below how to say hello that is the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment subscribe and help me get to 300 subscribers guys and make sure to follow me on instagram and all my other socials in the description down below 